This conference will now be recorded. Right, so the server is up in the background, so I don't need to run the Mongo. Mongo was already, you know, we started. It is running fine in the background, so I can connect. All right, show DPs. Use a scale DP. Show collections. Right. These are the these are the collections we have. Good enough. So now we're going to enter into the schema design. We finished the crude operations, you know, till yesterday. Schema design is very very important. Uh, in MongoDB especially. Uh, why? Because uh, MongoDB can accept any format of data, any, you know, any kind of data. It is the on-fly schema, on-the-fly schema. Which it will create the schema if you, don't, if you don't have it, and it takes the data automatically. There is no rejection of the data. If syntactical errors will be validated anyway, syntax must be followed. But if the syntax is followed, and if they are pushing the data, every document is coming in a different structure, there is no rejection basically so but you know like some situations you wanted the data format should be defined you wanted the data in the some, some formats only you don't want any kind of data you wanted some some for, sort of data should be there then only accept the data you want to design your you know uh, document layer how you wanted to pick up the document from the application or from the sender whoever it is it must follow certain standards. It, it must follow certain, uh, you know, rules and regulations when it is getting loaded. So, you see, it's not all the case that you wanted to load any kind of data all the time. But sometimes you wanted to have some rules so that you can control the incoming data, unnecessary data you don't want. You wanted controlled data. Like, if this data is following these rules, then only pick up the data. If not, fail it there itself. Don't pick up the data. So we have the controls on what what need to be you know like uh, accepted, what can be rejected based on the business model. Anyway, this is not your job as a DBA. Even I don't involve into this area, but um, it's very important to know that how Mongo can handle the data which we don't want. We don't want some formats of data, and we want it to reject if it is not following the validations that we imposed on the collection level. Let's see one by one. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll talk in practical more of. Then I'll come to the theory. Theory is simple anyway. If you if you understand practically, then theory becomes pretty simple for all of you to understand. It's not too tough to understand anyway. I'll finish this topic mostly today. Uh, just try to follow. Difference in how they used, okay. Right. So first validation level, we'll see. So uh, basically, let me uh, create some conditions, guys. I'll come to know everything we have in the slide anyway. I'll explain what it is exactly. So. So we're going to see one by one document validation. Let's talk about the validation first. So let me show you practically and then come back and explain the slide one by one. So I wanted to create a collection with certain validations, what I wanted, okay? So there is, I'm taking one example. The live use case can be anything. It, you know, it's not something, you know, uh, based on the situation, they do call their own uh, validators. But here I'm just taking one example to make you understand how validators or schema design would work in Mongo. I'm going to create a DB dot create create collection. Okay. Create collection within the collection. What collection you wanted to create? Maybe I wanted to create class collection. Class is a collection name. Then I wanted to impose some validators. Okay, validate 
validator I wanted to impose. So I'll go with the validator, validator. I'm defining it. So what kind of validator? Within the validator again, you have to supply the parameters. I wanted to supply multiple validators. Whenever you supply multiple va validator, it will come. You know, like a, a, I'm supplying multiple validator. If one of the validator is you know satisfied, I need the data to be picked up. If if you if you are supplying multiple parameters and both need to be matched then it will go with the and and r we have seen that operators so i'm going with r r condition here so if any of the condition is matched pick up the data so r r r again will go with the array array will have two layers again one is uh, you need to form two layers right this is a minimum syntax case let me talk about this again from the beginning See, create collection. This is the minimum syntax to create an empty collection, basically. But what I wanted on top of that collection, I wanted to add some extra validation that I wanted. So I'm just opening a document, then defining the validator. Validator, okay. Within the validator, I wanted further condition. What is the further condition? Multiple conditions I'm giving. If one of the condition is you know matched then pick up the data when multiple one has to be matched you go with the r condition r will come with the dollar r we know this we discussed already r operator right and here within the dollar that r will follow with the it will follow with array basically array declaration within the array you have two conditions one and second within this i'm going to define a phone phone number generally it's a number but num i don't want that i wanted to go with a stripe a string a string phone number should be string generally i'm just keeping that kind of validation so i'm defining it as a string then second condition second condition i want to define email id okay email the email must follow or some regular expression the regular expression again you go with the inside in it and write regex you're defining the regex in between the slashes the regex saying that you must have the email id followed with the mongodb mongodb dot com dot com must be must be added to the email id then only it should accept the record so this is one of the use case guys you know just i'm just showing you this is one of the example the real world you know they might follow their own validators based on the situation but how validations can take the data reject the data we have different levels of validations different level of validation actions so i'm going to show you with actions so that you get the full clarity on this one so, so we are here uh, the backs place is uh... Is it going to back or forward slash? Uh, this is something. Uh, this is something is saying that after MongoDB, after this is a continuity. After MongoDB, it should end with the MongoDB.com. This back. This is a backslash only. This must be backslash for sure. Uh, the above one is wrong. It seems. Anyway, we'll test it. We'll test it anyway. It should be uh, what I'm saying is to the regex. I defined anyway forward slash forward slash in between. I have to define the rule. This is the rule actually. This is the rule. What it is saying in that email at least MongoDB should be there basically. After dot after dot it should be dot com with it should end with the dot com. Every email ID will end with the dot com only. But the email ID must have the MongoDB in in it basically. Somewhere, somewhere in the text, it must have the MongoDB. I'll just talk about this. So now, if I'm trying to, you know, create this collection with a validator, with validator, with the two conditions. This, this, this is completely a condition. Till this point is a condition. Within the R operator, we created an array. These two are the conditions. This is one first condition. One is, is a string, it must be a string. Email, next condition is email. Basically, this is the next condition. If you see, 
the email regex must be followed the mongodb.com so let's see i'm trying to create this class collection with the validators let's see if it accepts or it won't accept if it won't accept we'll see the syntactic errors all right it is accepted if example if if, if i make any mistake so instead of this even if i keep this forward slash it is a syntactical error so if it is class one i'm trying to create it won't follow that i guess so it is, it is expecting something different so you are giving the this is something open this is something close here you are closing already and here also you are closing and that is something it is throwing the if you're giving the backward slash if you are giving the backward slash you are telling the extension of the text the extension of text is actually dot com it should be a dot com at the end of the mongodb anyway we created class now now if i'm trying to insert the data into it let's do it db dot class you see the show collections first class is created or not so class oh yeah upper and lower fine so db dot class okay dot insert if i'm trying to insert mongo is a case sensitive so lower case upper case treated as a different collection though it is same so it's case sensitive so now i'm inserting s number one okay s name just for the sake of discussion already something i'm trying to do will it accept based on the you know like what we defined in the collection it is a no. collection it won't so, because it's a validator right it is saying that document failed validation so it should you defined our condition one of the one of the condition must be matched to pick up the you know this document that is where you control the data see mongodb can take any kind of data into the system but you don't want for some reason if you are taking all the crap data your hard disk your system is completely filling up with the bad data you want it to filter see if it is application log and system logs and you, you audit logs something that, that sort of things we don't impose the validators basically but if it is something a live business case you're building it you don't want certain formats of data into the collection you want it specific collection if example you define a validation like this and people are getting this kind of error the front end guy will connect with the back end developer so what is the structure you defined why it is not accepting the document why it is failing what structure what what you defined in the collection can can you tell us so that we'll follow the same they'll coordinate anyway so that based on that they build the ui the application ui whatever they're supplying they make asterisk mandatory this is a mandatory field this is how it has to be kind of they'll write some hints to the people to follow the structure so that you will follow a structure to come into the mongo collection so now the same thing db dot class insert okay i'm trying to do S number one again. S name. Karthik. Okay. And here, uh, I'll go with the phone number. What I have defined as a phone. P H O N E. So phone. If I give this value, will it accept? This is also a question. Look at the condition and tell. Oh it is not a string yeah that's good good point you brought it i defined it as it must be a string still it is failed the validation the same thing if i give the quotes then what happens come on still it's if not I, going. I, still it's not going to why it not going to actually okay because, uh, because it's a numeric value uh, either quotes or no quotes doesn't make difference no no no. if it is a coach it's a numeric or a string characters whatever it is if you keep it as quotes then it is a string it's a number whatever it is any programming language 
even if you supply the numbers if you go with the quotes then it is a string string means it, number also can be a string it will treat everything as a string basically string is a versatile you can supply anything in as a string basically if you enter this it will pick up the object i mean it will pick up the document because it is following the first validation here the first validation if you see the phone number if you give the in quotes it is a string by default numbers does not have a string but you are supplying the number in a quotes that is a string it is like that most of the programming language everywhere if you go with the any declaration if it is a string within the string you can enter the pure numbers it, it accepts string is a versatile it, it will pick up any data but you have to keep in the quotes everything it will treat as a string itself anyway so now we inserted first record trying to let's do the next level next record db dot class insert okay insert s number two s name written and uh, phone number phone number i don't want email let's go with the email email it must match the field so if i'm giving example okay biran at the rate gmail.com will it accept this record what do you think no so we defined some regular expression to follow if i do this it will fail the validation i must follow the mongodb.com only mongodb.com so because i defined that condition the email must be at this specific domain only accept it don't accept the other domain email ids maybe you wanted <coughs> you wanted to handle with the outlook only you wanted to handle with only the particular thing you wanted to uh, what or what do you say uh, you wanted to accept maybe you go with the one more condition with the email regex with the outlook.com you go with the one more condition go with the gmail.com only three domain mail email, email id is pick up outlook gmail mongodb.com only these three formats of email allow it other for other email ids hotmail.com you have a lot of things right so don't accept it so you define the condition which way you wanted to pick up the data which email ids you wanted to pick up the uh, you know you wanted to keep in the background only your company related email ids or any any email id you wanted to keep it so you can define a lot of things guys that is what schema design you're designing it what you wanted in the background if i do this it will accept why it is still failed actually let's see because you put a condition that in in place of biren mongodb then you put any other email then it is going to take like ending with com Mongo... because you put the condition uh, mongodb slash dot com right that's correct so, so email, it, it, the email should contain uh, not the domain should be mongodb uh, it's fine anything uh, it should be there in the text part that's what we define document field email did i go with the correct one e m a i l right probably, probably the email id should start with mongodb uh, sorry sorry actually I mono see I, I given the wrong here spelling mistake mono g t b this is correct itself oh, come on sorry guys if i go this format it will accept okay i wanted to reformat it i can if i rerun this it will pick up that new changes you can do it so now let me show you this condition so what conditions we have uh, if you wanted to go with the mongo there are a lot of commands to help with the mongo uh, you know help commands if you see db dot help these are the mongo basic commands we use in regular version these are the commands so we are going to talk about all of this anyway db dot admin admin command can be used to shut down the server all that and authentication we have seen like right right clone database deprecated we are not using it anymore and copy database this is also deprecated and db dot create collection just we are seeing today capital collection all that we have we are seeing the creating collection manually right 
we have seen already capital collection creating capital collection uh, create a user also we have we have seen drop database we will see further if sync lock and if sync unlock we have seen right get collection name get collection so if you wanted to see the collection details get collection name this is something is we are going to see now get i'm going to cover every function every function most of the admin functions some functions are development related some functions are db related so but 90 percent of the functions are db related db related so i'm going to talk about all the functions what we have here no need to worry so now db dot in the query i have a question like if you can go back to that uh, yeah, yeah sure the input query yeah over here what is the what is the reason that uh, we are putting a backslash after mongodb backslash.com can't we put it in a yeah can't we put it in a straight way like mongodb.com in place of backslash uh actually what we are saying is before the before the dot com there should be mongo in it it can be before or after but it the text part mongodb should be followed in it if you don't follow the mongodb see at the rate mongodb.com before at the rate i kept mongodb and giving the name at uh, see uh it will accept any format like this so example uh mongo just type telling combination mongo at the rate ravi.com still it accepts mongodb is followed in it in the text of mongodb should be there even if you follow this format it will accept it does not matter it is only validating the dot com at the end okay and before that you must have the text to mongodb in it anywhere you should have a mongodb not as a domain so even uh, in this case then in place of mongodb if you can write it a mongodb still it is going to take right or it's going yeah. to match, or it is no, going to match the case it only look for this you know like is there or not in the string if it is there it will pick up but let's it see can also what... take, uh, at, uh, at Ravi MongoDB. yeah yeah anything anything it will also take uh, like this ravi at the rate mongo db.com so because it is followed it is there in it like this what if happens so, if you if you write uh, a mongodb in ravi anything. at the rate a, a mongo anything just it look no, no, for no, this not, not on the top on the bottom line yeah after yeah. at the rate if you put a yeah will this take it will also will be picked up most let's let's give it a try so what i'll do guys I'll, I'll rerun this before i rerun i'll let me show this collection infos and pass that class what are the conditions how it is defined it will display everything so this collection list failed bad value don't need a quotes class is not defined where I'm connected get collection infos uh -huh. what it is saying just not it returns the list that contains the names collection get collection infos which is correct the function is correct why it is not taking that cless hmm. it will display the structure of the table okay as it has this kind of thing or what let me see maybe db name we need to pass no no db name is not okay. db we connected already Distributed items. Oh, what it want? Okay. Does it want in testament? Maybe I'm not following the syntax. That is the reason. Uh, 
Oh, come on, really? Just one guys. I'll check the use case. You need to know the structure first before you do anything. Function, of course. Just I'll see one example so that I can easily understand this. How this can be used. Let's filter, okay. Use example, get collection of the following. That the returns that I have document, that is a collection. Of course, this is what I wanted, but uh, okay, come on. It is like this, okay. Name implies. Okay, good enough. So, so it is saying that to follow this way. We'll follow that way then. Right, exactly. Good enough. So if you see uh, the collection structure, the, I mean, what we created a class collection, it has the validator options. What are the options we have? Validator or, op, all, or you know, like validator or under R, see, this is, this is an array basically where it is ended within this we have two conditions this is one condition this is the next condition next condition i given a mono db instead of that i wanted to re-modify the same thing i can do it i'll go and rerun mongodb i'll just pick up this and then rerun in this command if i run this it should be modified if i go and read you will see this this got changed is it again mono db said okay right the class one new, new new yeah class one okay 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 come on seriously sorry it won't create the collection i feel i need to go let's see alert access so i need to modify it Hmm. I guess we have something called call mod. We have that discussion here. Just a minute. I'll change it using call collection mod. Somewhere I have mentioned. Right, this one. What it is saying. that converting the collection in value document. Looking for one more command. Right, context moderate. Run command context validator. Okay, let's do this. If I wanted to change structure, this is a command. Just a minute, I'll close this off. What are you saying? Call run command, call mod and validator. Okay, it's going in the document, which is fine. So here run command, and here it is in the document they mentioned, which is fine and call mod this is what is this mentioned it call mod okay validator it does not need this thing i guess one extra layer i need to remove this thing most probably is that this is not actually saying validator Okay, I'll keep it as it is. Let's see. I'm trying to change that, guys. Even you do mistake, you, you need to have the recovery of it. Right, it is done. Last only, right? Yeah. Get collection flows again. 
right now it is rectified the issue got rectified what we did is wrong and now it is correct so now let's do the uh, document uh, insertions db dot uh, class dot find so what we have right now we have two documents in it biren.com instead of biren uh, let, let me go with the all right so here i'll go with the third okay and i go with this assume case okay uh, santosh and here i'll go with the mongodb it follows at the end only but let's see santosh it's not picking it should be mongodb.com only then what this is saying is it is continuing without this if without this the dot notation it won't pick up i i feel but when you have a separator this kind of a separator for the ending of it so this is something is a continue continuity of the end of the string it seems i guess uh if i don't rem if i don't keep this one i am trying to keep this as a class 10 just try let's do it what it what it says this really is going to create Oh, it is created good enough. And in this case, what it does? Does it accept that format? Hmm. Anyway, what you said is correct to be done. Like uh, this is something even you remove it. It is picking it as a continuity as uh, text. It should be dollar means at the end, the end of the text it must be like this mongodb.com at the end of it when you define something at the end of it the email must be mongodb.com only there then only it will accept the record basically if not it won't accept so you are telling the system what kind of email ids you wanted to handle in the background not all anything that you wanted so now i'm going with the co santosh <laughs> sorry so here, instead of this, there is a lot of discussion in this direction, guys. Just, just try to follow. Oh, it, it picked up. Now I'll insert one more record quickly. Oh, come on, where did I insert it in class 10? Just for a variation, can you just uh, put some uh, other characters before Mongo? Uh, okay, like uh, here you wanted to keep one to something. You want to worry anything? Let us see whether it's picking up or not. It it is picking up. Just it, it should end with the mongodb.com at the end. That's it. This must be followed. Mongodb one. Even if I give it uh, this mongodb one, it will throw the validation error. So at the end, it looking for it the end. Be yeah so it is going to be domain specific then yeah domain specific which is correct we wanted a domain should be followed like at rate mongodb.com like that so or else you wanted some particular email outlook.com only like something you wanted to pick up but something you don't want to pick up gmail ids are not supported in the background so you definitely have to register something through that mongodb only only outlook only you're defining it because in the background it is validating what supplying it it's just not taking this by default it's validating so you must follow it you are enforcing the system to follow by default there are no validators you are explicitly imposing the validators on the collection this is called a schema design you want it to design and what you want it to accept basically so how you want it to handle the error also is a design. We will see that in the next today itself. I'll I'll conclude this. So db dot class dot uh, this we have seen. Now if you see db dot class find how, what are the records we have? These many records. Sorry, this old one. Db dot class dot find. So these are the records we have. So now if I one more last one I'll insert. As the last record, db dot class, okay, and insert s number four, okay, s name Lata, and here email 
email is given at the rate gmail.com i'll give it and here you have to tell this so will it accept the question yes because it fulfills form uh, condition as right that's correct it's our condition what we defined is an R condition when we validation look at R condition R means one either of the one is following the rule it will pick up the document so this is following this is not following which is fine because it is our condition so it is accepted the document because one is following the rule other is not following the rule so now let's do the modification db dot class dot find these many records we have can i update this without the rule validation see db dot i'm trying to validate uh s number two as you make case so db dot class condition the condition is s number two that is what i wanted to update what i wanted to update set set is the one you wanted to update something come on i'm sorry set what i wanted to update the email id c s number is two s name is biran email is mongodb.com but i'm i'm trying to change it to something else will it do that so biran at the rate gmail.com if i try to do it even it validates the data for the update as well not only for the insert your if I, if it is letting us to update this one it is deviating the schema design so if you're trying to do it it will throw the error what it is saying class is not a function sorry sorry it's my mistake class dot update i have to give it All right so you're trying to update biren at rate gmail.com this document is purely following the schema design using on this field only if you are deviating the schema design it won't let you to do it document is failed so if you come back to the slide now you can the first slide here see the validations are available from 3.2 version if you are running with 3.0 mongodb validations are not available it can take any data and you don't have validations there is no validation concept in 3.0 3.2 itself these validation came into picture why because customers requested it they don't want all sort of data somewhere they wanted to restrict the data incoming data where they don't want certain format so there they introduced 3.2 in 3.2 they introduced it mongodb provides a capability to validate to validity documents during the update and insertions both you are trying to do validate the document validity. validate the documents during the updates and insertions basically okay when you are inserting or updating both the cases it is validating it's not just the insert itself validation occurs during the update and inserts yes both the cases add document validation to the existing collection using call mod we have seen just now call mod also i have I've, uh, discussed this one right so call mod we run this one to change the structure again back to the correct one so create collection we have seen this anyway the create collection with the validators now let's come to this one so validation levels okay now we have seen how the validations are working but how you wanted to handle the validations again there is further you know filtration by default if you go and see db dot get collection infos just try to follow this name class this is what is syntax right right if you see validation level there are two things associated with the document validation level and validation action this we did not we did not give this one basically it is a default by default validation level is strict action is error by default that is the uh, mongodb default nature but you wanted to change this to something else you can change it this is called validation levels so validations we have seen guys what you define that document must satisfy the condition then only it will pick up the data that we have seen now 
you wanted to manage the validation level what you wanted so now to make you understand better on this point let me explain this one more uh, thing uh, what i'll do so anyway by default um, let me try yes i have to pick up one more collection for make you understand on this other point this is the data this data is inserted after the validation imposed on the collection whatever the data you know you inserted after the validation it will follow through the validation if i'm if i'm converting the existing collection if i'm converting the existing collection to have some validations the validation will not verify the existing records it only verify the upcoming records keep in mind this is another important point you wanted you have to know see i'm converting one of the collection to have a validations the existing collection i'm i'm doing this i'm converting the uh, collection which does not have a validation and converting it to have a validations when you add the validations it does not look for the validation on the existing documents it does not verify whether the existing documents are following the rule or not it will verify the data upcoming data whatever is upcoming data is following the rule or not that is something another point you have to pick up in the validation level validation here you can control you can control how mongodb handle the existing documents using the validation level option by default validation level is strict that we have seen by default validation level is strict for the document by default that is nature so by default validation level is strict and mongodb applies the validation rules to all inserts and update whatever you insert whatever you update update after the validation applied will be modif will be definitely uh, strictly validated for every insert and update setting validation level to moderate applies to validation rules to inserts and updates to existing document that fulfill the okay let me come to this point after i show the practical practical thing okay if i say directly you don't understand these two points so now whatever the data i entered here this is absolutely followed the rules i cannot update any record without following the validation this is mandatory but let's do this Ravi, I just missed it. So, uh, in the email, you have mentioned uh, Lata at the rate of Gmail, right? So, it should not insert. But uh, phone is following the rule, right? Phone is a string. Okay, okay. R. R, we have given R. This is not following the rule, but this is following the rule. This is enough for okay. you know, to satisfy that validation. Yeah, got it. Right. So, uh, what I'll do, uh, db. Dot what do we say maybe class itself this lower case class find this is the data we have is it following the validation anyone is it following the validation no no now i'll convert this one to have the validations now so now uh, the same thing the same thing i'll give it in the same this condition as a class as a small that's it you have to do nothing else i'm converting the existing let me take off all of this this is I'll, I'll send it to you guys okay i'll take out that there i'll write down some notes creating collection with validators to have specific design of the collection you're designing it is a design actually this is called design so now converting existing collection adding adding it's not converting adding validation validations to existing collections to follow schema design this is the command for that i'll send this anyway so now with this 
first let's do this <clears throat> if i run this as it is the if you see anyway db dot get collection infos and the name is small letters don't confuse here okay name is small letters it does not have any you know like if you see the options this validation will come under options basically under options you don't have any validation in this collection now i'm going to impose that i'm going to run this now so if i run this i copied everything I am trying to do this. Yes. If you understand this, the slides will become easy. Now, the class is converted to validated uh, collection. Now, if I go and read this uh, collection infos dot uh, like name class, now you see the options validator. The validator has been added to the existing. This was not there before. We just verified. We don't had any options along with the collection. Now we have it we have this complete options are added just now till this point till this point completely added just now so now if i see db dot class dot this is what i was stressing the point you added the validators the validator what you added to the collection does not go and verify the existing documents that is what the sentence is saying that Setting the validation level uh, by default validation is strict and MongoDB applies the validation rule to all inserts update that is a common setting the validation level to moderate applies the validation rules to inserts and update. Okay, let me further discuss and come to this point again. It's not fully uh, justified yet. So now see guys when you apply the validation on existing document the validation does not undergo for the existing documents only it will pick up it will check for the upcoming documents upcoming documents means now db dot class dot insert if i'm trying to insert so s number nine is that i'm trying to do 10 s number 10 and the s name ravinder and if i'm giving it phone number as some random it, it will not why because now the validations are there in the collection so now if i go with and keep it as a string it will accept it will accept because it is following the rule the same way if you try to do the other thing just let's let's enter some or some text so that you understand again else so now i'll go with just a phone which is fine but i'll add the email it is not following the rule but email is following the rule this is enough that is enough guru at the rate mongodb.com will accept the record so either of it either of it is following the rule then it is accepting the record if i go on if i try to do the same record entry but not the validation so i'm giving both the phone number and email but i'm not following the mongodb dot mongodb1 it is failed why because this is not satisfying the condition this is also not satisfying the condition both are not satisfying validation failed and you, you're getting the error right good enough so now the next point is how how you wanted to handle the validation level by default it is strict strict what exactly strict means so let's do this one db dot class dot find these are the data we have these are, are these following the rules no you're not following the rules on this one but but there is a condition again db dot class okay and update if i'm trying to update it is strict by default validation level is strict and strict will follow even you are trying to update the existing record also if you touch it you have to follow the validation if not it won't but if you are trying to modify when you are trying to modify existing document also should follow the validation if you don't modify no it won't validate but if you are trying to modify so now db dot this is something another important point you need to understand if i do this name by default district 
why I'm showing again again, you need to understand this. This is very important point here. By default, validation level is strict. If the validation level is strict, when you are creating the validation, though it is strict, it does not validate against the existing documents. But when you're trying to update, when you're trying to update, it will definitely do that. DB dot class dot find. This is the data we have. Now I'm trying to modify the first record. Just such a my case. DB dot uh, class dot find update. It is an update. Updating on the first record. S number one. And uh, sorry, S number one is going to find out the Santosh record. And I'm going to set S name to Santosh Kumar, something, whatever it is, just adding it, just more text to it. Will it allow us? It is not. Why? This document you are trying to update and you have something a validator, you are not following it. I, it will accept the update. If I do add one of the column, phone number, something I'm adding as a string, now it is qualifying the condition, it will pick up the update. You guys following or not? Say something, please. Yes. Yes. So if you if you try to do this, it is followed the update. When you are trying to update the existing record, it is checking the for validation. There is something called validation level moderate. When you impose moderate, it does not validate the condition for the existing documents before the validation. After the validation, whatever is there, it will it will validate the condition. Let me show moderate. This is where you confuse. Closely pay the attention. Very closely. By default, strict. Strict means when you are applying the validation, does not verify the existing. Any it is strict or moderate validation level, whatever it is. But when you are trying to update existing document, also should follow the validation if it is a strict validation level but i wanted to change that to see validation level was strict i wanted to change it to a moderate let's do it changing validation level to moderate an existing existing collection okay it is strict and we are changing it to moderate how do we change it basically it is so simple anyway i'll pick up the same thing i'll rerun this command with the validation level <coughs> so call mod and it should come here within that document at the end validation level validation validation level is it validation level this must match validation level right validation level i'll keep it as <coughs> moderate i'm changing the validation level of that class let's see this this is another important thing you need to understand if you understand this almost we are close to wind up this right excellent it is applied so now go and check it db dot get collection infos and name collection now the validation level will be changed name okay see more moderate it turned into moderate so uh, i i'll also keep this guys for you checking what kind of validations we imposed validations we have imposed on existing collections we can use the look I'll give as a reference this 
this is important right so if you run this this is the syntax i was verifying it i was right in the google so i change this one to anyway I'll, I'll i'll show some more commands for that i'm keeping it so i change it to moderate what exactly moderate is going to do that is the next discussion db dot class dot find if example if a document is following the rule if the document is following the rule it will validate the validator if the document is not following the rule it does not validate the condition what exactly it mean moderate means see whatever the documents you are going to insert it definitely follow the validation insert don't have any exception once the once the data is you know you applied the validation of the collection insert definitely have to go through the validation there is no exception for it but for existing documents for existing documents using the validation level we can do some exception validation level strict definitely will follow all the existing documents if you are trying to update if you are trying to update follow this point very carefully you definitely confuse even i confused in the beginning but anyway if i'm trying to do this db dot class update so now what i'm going to do i'm trying to change the uh, santosh kumar okay i did not set it okay whatever it is so s name s name to santosh kumar well, the one is gone actually okay where santosh kumar record is there i wanted to do the update okay come on set i wanted to set the phone number to some number so now what i'm doing i'm deviating the validation on this one but it is already following the validation if validation is following moderate will work on that oh, it's not matching the record why set phone phone number should be string double quotes no, that, that's fine. maybe that's fine does not need to match come on we are giving not this one matching right? string no this is matching right this is matching and we are setting that phone to this when it is matched oh, okay, okay. got it uh, name ah, ah, oh sorry it, the field is wrong its name i mentioned wrong see its name spelling is wrong right now if i hit it it is throwing the validation failed why validation failed this document is already following the validation don't deviate though it is a moderate if the document is already following the validation you cannot deviate from it but this one this one is not following the validation it, it accept the modification that is called uh, moderate means so update there is small difference that you need to catch s number two where it is not following the rule now i wanted to set something updating it the existing record set uh name s name to i wanted to keep it to ravinder so what exactly this is going to do it is going to find this record it is finding this record and it is replacing the name from Viren to Ravindra. That is what the command. If I run this, it should execute because the validation level is moderate. It is executed. Though, though this document is not following the validation, it is accepted. Why? Because it's a moderate validation level. Moderate validation level does not validate the condition on existing documents which is not following the rule. This is this. See, these are these are all not following the rule. They are the existing documents. They are existing documents before validation applied, right? Try to catch. This is very important. That is what this slide is exactly saying. It by default, validation level is strict. 
and MongoDB applies the validation rules to all inserts and update. If it is a strict, if it is a strict, even if it is existing document, whatever it is, when you apply the validation, it won't verify the validation for the existing document that is there by default with any validator. Existing documents will not be touched for the validation, but condition if the validation level is strict, if you are trying to update an existing document, then it should follow the condition. It should follow the validation. If it is a strict validation, if it is a moderate validation, the existing documents, if they are not following the condition before, no need to follow. Is it clear? Say something, please. This is very important what I'm making. Confuse, clear, tell me something. Don't keep quiet, please. People are quiet. Do you want me to write something? Right, let's write. Clear. It is clear. I don't need to do that then. You need to be clear. Moderate means moderate. What? Uh, let me write it down. Not. Moderate. Validation level will not will not verify the validations on existing documents while updating. Moderate validation level will not verify the validation on existing documents which are not following the condition which are not following the following the validation well updating well updating though it will it will validate for all new insertions all new insertions Okay, is it is it clear to all? Moderate moderate validation level will not verify the validations on existing documents which are not following the validation while uh, while updating updating the existing records. This must be existing document. This must be mentioned. Okay. Uh, is it this statement making sense for you all? Just it is for you, not for me. Let me know if you don't follow. See, moderate validation level will not verify the validation existing documents. It is talking about the existing updated when valid moderate validation level will not verify the documents and existing documents which are not following the. OK, I mentioned here which are not following the validation while updating the existing documents, though it will validate for all new insertions. Does it make sense? Say something, please. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the response because I want I wanted to hear this. Right. If this you understood, these statements will be clear to you. By default, here by default, validation level is strict, and MongoDB applies the validation to all insert and updates. If it is strict, doesn't matter. If you're trying to touch the existing documents which are not went through the validation because they inserted before the validation applied. But when you're trying to update, the update also should follow the validation if it is a strict. If it is strict. Come on. See. Let's let's quickly one more time. It is accepting this update. Why it is accepting again? I wanted to ask this. See, if I'm trying to update uh, is number four. Uh, let me read this data quickly. I will ask question and then I'll move ahead db.class.find I am trying to update this. Will it accept me to update now without the validation? It's a question. Yes. A question. Why yes? Moderate. It is yes, it will. That's it's correct. Moderate. If you understand this, then I'll, I can move out of this. So it's uh, S number four. It is defining the record to update. So what I wanted to update set what i wanted to update what field i wanted to update hyderabad to something this this thing hyderabad to hyd to 
I'll, I'll mention full name something if I'm updating it it will pick up the update but at the same time I'll write one more statement here where converting changing validation level from moderate to strict from moderate to strict again I'm changing it to strict I want it for some reason this is a command just you have to replace strict that's it so again I'm converting to strict this will conclude for sure okay so now if I try to do this before I do it DB dot uh, get collection infos and the name class you can also become developer slowly if you know all of this come on sorry right the validation level is moderate now i'm converting that to into strict so now you see db dot get uh, collection infos Why I'm typing, I can do that upward arrow. Right. It is strict. Now, now the question comes back again. This is the data. If I'm trying to execute the same command where I was executing this one, tell me will it accept or it won't? I'm changing the data from Hyderabad to Hyderabad 1. It is a change. It should accept. I mean, it will do it. But will it accept or it won't accept? because validation level is strict back to the previous question it will not accept right it will not accept why because the validation level is strict right you got the point this is what if validation level is strict if you are trying to update the update also should follow the condition or validation on all all documents it can be the document is following the rule or not doesn't matter uh, everything should follow the insert update both commands should follow the validation though the existing document is not following the validation but when you are doing the update it must follow the validation what does moderate do moderate will do the validation if the existing document is following the validation if it is already following you must follow the validation if you are doing the update but if the some documents are not following the validation before it won't validate that is the moderate you guys following now you need to tell when do we use the moderate when do we use the strict now you have to tell me the case if you understood well can anyone moderate can be used if there is an any existing data before putting the validation right exactly very excellent answer this is this is very nice answer seriously he followed very well then what i'm trying to talk moderate is given when you already have the data a lot of data and you don't want that existing data or existing format of already defined and given to the client and that should not follow the validation the new rules are applying to the new data then you'll go with the moderate validation level if it is a brand new collection you're trying to follow go with the strict why because it is starting from the beginning that is where the business use case will come into picture and the existing data you are following the rule or new collection you are following the rule existing data go with the moderate if it is a new go with the strict like that that is the use cases business use cases now is it clear strict to moderate is clear to everyone say something please don't keep quiet if you keep quiet i, I cannot understand yes. clear or not Yes, yes. Give me some response, please. <laughs> okay, now see here. I'll conclude the slides simply because you understood. By default, validation strict and MongoDB applies validation for all inserts and updates. Strict that we have seen. Setting the validation to moderate applies the validation rules to inserts to existing document that fulfill the validation criteria. See, moderate only will apply. Insert is there. Will apply to insert. I is saying that to existing document that fulfill the validation criteria that fulfill the validation criteria means wherever the document is following already the validation then it will validate 
if not it won't so with the moderator level updates to the existing document that do not fulfill the validation criteria are not checked forward this is exactly the statement i was talking about exactly this is statement right to disable to disable the validation entirely you can set it off validation level to off if you keep it off what happens let's do it why not i don't want to just to talk I guess off will work or not. I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, we'll just pick up this. Let's test it. Really, is it working or not? Anyway, this is enough. If you understand, schema design is over. Uh, changing the validation level to off. To off. To not to validate. The data for update and insertions. Something like this. So keep it off. Do we have this? I have to check. Off. Is it possible to do it? Definitely have to hit this and then check. Okay, excellent. We have this db.get collection infos come on please why oh, is not taking anyway db dot uh, get collection infos class no validation off okay <clears throat> now it is off it should let you to insert anything and update anything both let's test it fine even i'm verifying this guys db dot let's do the insert insert is main for validations validation off to well Um, okay it is accepted why validation off as simple as it is so you wanted to insert one more record you can insert absolutely whatever the, it is just picks up that's it but if i'm trying to update let's do the update let's find it this is the data we have right now db dot Class dot update. It it's no more validation does not apply to this. You wanted to switch off for some reason for for a while, switch off and pick up the data what they are really wanted to, then switch on if really wanted. It is up to the business, right? What how one maintained can be. So if I go to this one, uh, this is following the rule, right? I just wanted to do, go to S number eleven, right? Yeah, eleven. I wanted to replace not the update replacing the document s number 11 is fine with me okay s name i wanted to change it to what 11 is guru right uh guru one which is fine guru one and address i'll keep either way so i'm replacing the complete document i'm not setting it Finding it and replacing it. So now db dot last dot fine. Right. See, this eleventh record is absolutely got gone out of that validation. So if you wanted to switch off, changing the validation to off to not to validate the data for updates or insertion. Data for further updates or insertions, whatever it is, it should not validate. But again, if I make it on, I wanted to check this one. Okay. Now let's do one more further. So we talked about validation level. There is validation action as well. If you if you see this, there is a, we did not talk about this. What is this? Let's talk about that. Right. That that is the end of the schema design. If you understand this. So now I'm keeping it strict. 
I can keep it to converting it to strict. What does strict do? You know that. I don't need to explain now. DB dot. Uh, I don't want to type again. Right. If you see, it turned into six strict. If I do that, DB dot class dot find DB dot. Okay, DB dot. Uh, if I'm trying to insert first class, insert. I'm re-verifying very quickly just with one record. No, it won't take. You must follow the rule. And even if I'm trying to update, come on, it's strict, right? Update. Example 13. Set. Uh, name to risk corner right i am keeping it running there will it accept it's a question will it accept or it won't accept say something accept. it will accept or it won't accept. it's a question i'm asking validation it is strict won't. no it won't. it's a it's strict right it won't but if i what i'll do i'll add one extra field to the set so i'll keep this one now what what will it accept Yes, yes, yes. Uh, phone, phone number. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that is what I wondered why it did not accept it. Phone. Right, it is accepted. So, because it is following the validation, as simple as it is. Now, even I'm not following the validation, I, I need the data insertion that is handled through the Validation action validation action. You're telling give the error basically, right? That is why it is erroring out validation error Like if I'm trying to uh, Not following this thing it is throwing the error out. why it is throwing because validation action is doing that But I wanted to skip that also You don't do it, but I'm just telling what is the purpose of it? Uh, here uh, Working with validations. Let's keep this straight line working with validation level come on levels okay this is one thing one section i'll keep it as this is one section and i'll keep it as a working with validation actions Now, the same command. Now, validation action. What is that exactly you have to pick up? Validation action. So, by default, it is error. I wanted to warn, just to warn. Where I'm doing? Sorry. Just a minute. I did it wrong. Why? Because I have to do here. Right? And I was talking about this to off, right? It is for your reference. So I'm going to send this document. So I wanted to match this. So here, validation action. I wanted to just warn. If I'm just giving the warning, I'm not failing the document i'm changing it to warning this is not good not good but what it does let's see you know this as well if you understand this i'm going to close this module anyway so if i if i changing it to validation action to warning it is done uh, let's see the db dot uh, collection info name right see it is given to warning what does warning do basically it won't give the error though it is not following the condition so so i'm trying to load 14 record insert inserting 14 record s name sam kumar 
just case building a case rush uh, uh, hyd even there is a validation strict but validation action will play can play another role if i do it is come on there is syntactic error And you put a two noted commas before Kumar. Oh yeah, good catch. Yeah, that's correct. Now it is accepted. So it is not validating the. It is validating the rule absolutely in the background. But uh, here, what's what's going on in the background basically? DB dot class and that fine. If you see the data is not following the rule anymore, though it is strict, because you made the validation action to warning. What does warning do? It will write the event in the log file that is what it is so mongo user right i'll tell you what it does you're not supposed to do but you need to know what it does uh, okay cat etc MongoDB, MongoDB. this is the log file right so let's see okay wc fnl 473 lines we have good enough so i'm going to read this if i read this this is a sentence i'm getting but if you see uh, storage valid here document would fail the validation sqldb collection failed validation on this one it is writing that validation if you are keeping warning it is writing the error in the log but not it is not rejecting the insertion it is speaking the insertion but it is writing the event in the mongo log mongo server log it is saying that the so and so document is uh, kept for the validation. It is it is not validated, but the warning is written because you you tell you are telling to the system just war, not error. You see, this is validating strict good enough. But at the end, what you wanted to do with that validation? You wanted to error it out, or you wanted to just give an error a warning and accept the data. So that defines basically next. So if I do let me do this thing grip we know the grip right we discussed already grip so i'm going with the grip what is the grip i'm going to do grip validation fail validation i'll keep this one valid wherever this is there it is going to give the you know like lines these are the two times it is validation is failed if i'm doing some more inserts some more inserts every insert will fail so how many how many uh, validation failed errors I should get now? Three records are inserted. Every record it is validating, but it is writing the warning in the log five times. See, it's like that. So there is no meaning in the validation if you do this generally. You're just recording the event and accepting the data does not make sense. Data is growing. You're not controlling the data growth and unnecessary data. So, but anyway, you should know it the purpose the purpose must be clear what is a validation warning means let's write a note here okay if you understand this i don't need to even explain the slides also as simple as this warning uh validation let's give validation validation action warning validation action warning is going to uh, accept all documents whether they are following the following the validation or not or not but it writes it writes the event to mongo error log to record the event given that validation failed that is what it does you need to know it is it clear yes or no say something yes yes thanks Thanks for the response. So now uh, working with the validations, validation actions. So changing, this is a changing validation, validation action. 
from error to one again i'll keep it the one more step here i will change it to error again changing the validation from warning to error you just make it error if you know this you can become a slowly developer also if you are interested down the line developer has a more value than the dba in the mongo uh, profile especially more packages as well it's up to you anyway but it's simple to do development if you follow things it's up to you further you wanted to grow your career on this one db dot anyway i don't want to do that where is this see no error now it does the validation it fail if it is not following both why because we are asked to do so so now it will fail as long as you don't do the uh what what i would say on if i'm just giving the number it won't it won't accept anymore you just need the codes to do it to accept the data so we are back again to the all the modifications all the uh, what i will say validation and the warning validation level and validation action that is what it is talking about see uh, with the moderate level updates to the existing document that do not fulfill the validation criteria do not check for validity we have talked about if we wanted to switch it off we have seen the switch off of the action and accept or reject invalid documents the validation action the validation action at the end of it which does the accept or reject accept means warning reject means error the validation action option determines how mongodb handles the document that valid the violate the validation rule by default validation action is error mongodb rea what rejects sorry something i typed it wrong rejects any insertion or update that violate the validation criteria when validation action is won mongodb locks any violations but allows the insertion locks any violation in error lock let's let's mongo error but allows the insertion to insertion updation updates to proceed further this is what we have seen already and if you wanted to change the validation action to one that also i kept every syntax here okay validation action validation level both we have seen that right this will come out of it data modeling concept D data in mongodb has a flexible schema unlike sql databases where you must determine and declare the table schema before inserting the data in c unlike unlike me the skill you have to define the schema and insert it right mongodb collection do not enforce the document structure by default they don't enforce you load the data whatever the format it will pick up but mongodb collection do not enforce the document structure this flexibility facilitate the mapping of documents to entity or an object see by by allowing you to enter any data is also a bad thing sometimes why because it's just taking all the crap data and it is becoming you know like a vast the data becoming uncontrollable unmanageable where you don't want you want it to just definitely validate and pick up the data that's where the schema design will come into picture if you know all of this you're done with the schema design as simple as it is only those are available each document can have different keys and types in practice however the documents in a collection share a similar structure generally we try to one application will push the data one type of data generally if they are changing the extra fields maybe extra fields will add up but most is a similar structure every collection will have it the key challenge in data modeling is balancing needs of the application the performance come on the performance characteristics of the database engine and the data retrieval patterns so how much data you are reading it and how day how much data you you want to deal with you want it to control their, their data model will come into picture when designing the data models always consider the application usage of the data queries updates and processing of the data as well as the inherent structure of the data itself i mean see validation you apply it you don't apply it it's a business case it's not purely all the cases will will follow the validation it is a business case you wanted to reduce the data incoming data and you wanted to get accurate data what you wanted to load into the system just apply the validation and rdbms to see rdbms will follow this kind of all relations with you 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 go with you know one table and uh, one table will have the relation with the other table with the foreign key and if you update here it will update there 
and if you are trying to delete it won't let as long as you delete this it won't delete so there is a relation here in mongo there is no relation at all everything goes into single see title mongodb name uh, this is the author of the something who is written this and this is another author and model uh, relational false also see you are keeping all of the content about one entity or one person or one business unit whatever it is you wanted to keep the information about one person in a single document you don't divide it you have to keep it in a single document itself if you are adding the extra field set it we have seen on how to set the new field in the existing collection keep adding the data to existing collection itself you don't change the you know you don't create multiple documents for a single collect single person one single person one document one document will give the entire information about the one person or entity whatever it is you don't divide the data keep it they can mongodb follow the data locality this is what we say data locality means if you have one person information it should be there in a single document as simple as this if you are keeping multiple documents you cannot join it basically there is no joining concept within a document you can filter it you can filter like we have, we read the documents like uh, we have mbd document how do we read the mbd document parent field and the child field will join it and read the equality we read that already right that's what it will follow mbd documents we have seen already so mbd documents will follow like this kind of structure we have seen this right if i wanted to read this one how do i read db dot if it is a table name called class db dot class contact dot phone and this number this will read the data so inside the data so parent field child field and equal value of that that is the condition to find out the record we have seen this you guys remember i picked up a big example 833 already okay this is all about for this we are done with the schema design guys schema is only all about this what you wanted to design and how you validate that how, what you wanted to keep the validation and how you are validating that validations like you wanted to keep it moderate or strict or warning you wanted to give it or you wanted to just error it out which is not following the rule if you know this you know the schema design as simple as nothing else in the schema design these are all you need to know in the schema design i'm going to share this notepad just go through it you're done with the validations I mean schema design validations but it is clear right to everyone yes or no yes sir so this is this is all about the schema design schema design any questions from anyone so this is more of like development side right development side of the exactly it is pure it is purely development but as a dba why yeah. we are learning this we need to maintain the data the problem is maintaining the data if it is vast we definitely face the issues if the data is vast the backup is you know take it going to take long time which is going to flood the resources and if more data more maintenance as simple as it is maintenance who is doing it dba is doing it if db is giving the best standards if people are not following give the best standards that also can control the data that is expectation see you are the junior in the beginning but down the line you are the senior you will become the architect in the mongo when you become the architect though you are dba you are expected to know all of this then only you will become an architect you know in and out of it not just the dba that is expectation that is why i am reading i am showing all of this clear clear right yeah yes okay guys so any question before i stop the video fine okay